Is it really that necessary? Is it okay if you skip it? What happens if you don't put up your seedlings? If you grow flowers or vegetables from seed, you are very familiar with this term, potting up. Potting up just means moving your seedlings to a bigger container. Now, why is this important? There are many reasons to do this. One, your plants will grow bigger and stronger. And two, the roots in your seedlings will get to spread and by that you make sure that you end up with healthy seedlings. But how do you know when to put up your seedlings? This is going to be very different for everybody. It's going to depend on what plants you're putting up and also the situation that you're currently in. Let me explain. Personally, I decide by the condition of the roots and how far I have until I can take those seedlings outside. Take this plant for example. This is a purple millet plant that I started from seed on the 28th of March. Right now it's about the middle of April and they have been growing here for two to three weeks. And I know, I know that the roots are definitely, definitely calling for a bigger space to grow. Now here in central Indiana, I still have about two possibly three weeks before I am able to take all of my warm loving plants outside. And I can do two things. I can definitely wait, given the conditions of the roots of these plants. I'm okay waiting, maybe two more weeks, but I am really, really pushing it. These plants are going to grow healthier and stronger if I give them more room to grow. So I am going to move these guys into a bigger container, which is one of this. The size is going to depend entirely on what you have available, but these two and a half inch containers are going to give this plant, this grass, a better chance to grow stronger. And here in two or three weeks, this plant, the root system is going to be amazing. Now, if I was one week away from moving these grasses outside, I will definitely wait and not do anything. But two, three weeks for me, if I decided these roots need more space, it's definitely a good amount of time for me to move them up so that they can get the advantage of having a bigger container. Pretty. Now, some of you are thinking, Roxana, why don't you save yourself all the trouble of putting up and start with bigger containers? And that's a valuable point, but I have two problems with that. One, space. These are the containers that I use for studying all of my tomatoes this year. Everything that you see here is for my garden. These are tomatoes. I have tons of different varieties, 18 varieties to be exact. And I started them in these little containers. Every tiny container was one variety. And when they were big enough, I moved them into these bigger containers. Space is a huge thing for me here because I don't really have a huge area for growing my seedlings. So if I can save some time at the beginning, I am definitely going to do that. Storing these for two or three weeks before I'm ready to move up is very easy instead of having two trays of plants. But also, reason number two and probably the most important is that I like to refresh my potting mix, mainly because of fungus gnats. And let me be clear, it's not a problem of if I get fungus gnat, it's a problem of how soon will the fungus gnats start showing up here in my area. As I mentioned, I started my tomatoes in these tiny containers. They were here for two weeks. After that, I moved them into these containers. And these plants will stay here for two to three weeks until I am ready to plant them outside. Now, if you think about it, that is a month, a month and a week of having wet soil inside in warm temperatures, which are the perfect, perfect circumstances for fungus gnats to appear. By using small containers and having two weeks of all soil, then refreshing it into fresher, cleaner soil into bigger containers, when I put up, then I save that time. I sort of start over, resetting the time to when the fungus gnats start showing up. Not only that, but if you are growing your seedlings in a room where the humidity is a little bit tricky, then you can start seeing some things appear on top of your potting mix and it's a whole mess. So space and also making sure that I have cleaner potting mix are two of the biggest reasons why I don't start a lot of seeds in their original containers. Basically, that's why you wanna put up your seedlings. Healthy roots, stronger plants, bigger 
plants. Now, if you're anything like me and you hear it being explained, then you might go, okay, cool. Sometimes you might read it somewhere and go, that's neat. But if you actually see it, then it might actually make more sense to you. So here it goes. This right here is one of my lavenders. This plant right here and this plant right here were started at the same time. They were both started on this container. The only difference is that I left this little guy alone and this guy who was probably one of these two was moved into bigger containers. Can you see the difference? This guy is barely, barely surviving for its life. It has been here for quite a while and it's definitely, definitely needing some extra love. This right here was moving to bigger container, fresh soil, and it's thriving. Can you tell the difference? Let me show you one more. This right here is my Black Eye Susan. These guys were started at the same time. They were all started over here in these tiny little containers. The only difference is that I transplanted this guy from here into a bigger container. You be the judge. How about one more? These guys right here are my petunias. I mean, do I need to say anything else? These two petunias were started at the same time in these containers. The only difference, you guessed it, is that this guy was potted up into bigger containers. And yes, I did fertilize these petunias once with fertilizer. But to be fair, I also gave this little guy some fertilizer as well. And yes, Brenda, I realize that I am sacrificing a few of these plants to make my point. But you guys, if you are one of those people that you start your seedlings in containers and you leave them there for three, four, five, six weeks, hopefully I get to change your mind or maybe give you a little bit of perspective on why potting up is very, very important. By the way, my petunias are huge. So what do you think? Are you guys going to be checking on your seedlings to see if they need to be potted up? I think that you should. Until the next time, you guys.